Kia ora tātou. Okay, so we're going to make a website for your music class. So what you need to do is that you've already opened the tab in Google Classroom um, because if you haven't, then you're not watching this video. Makes sense. In your tab, there is also, it says, Nine Music Website Google Drive Folder. What I'd like you to do is to click on that and then it will open um, a brand new folder for you and access to this folder in a Google Drive. Now, what you don't have to do, but what I need to do, is I just need to click, um, copy this, um, and then move into incognito, um, and then be able to uh, open this file just to show you what you need to do. Okay, so you can do this just after you've uh, clicked on it in Google Classroom. So what you then, if you open this, what will happen is that it will give you the music website template. However, you can't actually um, change any of it. What you can do is that you can open the different pages and tabs, but you can't actually change that. And that's not what I want you to do. What I want you to do is to either go to three double dots and I want you to either click make a copy or I want you to double uh, is to right click sorry on your trackpad and then or your mouse and then create make a copy. It will then make a copy by saying creating copy of music file in my drive and it will show you the file location. Now the file location that it puts it in for you by default is into your music drive. So what I want you to do is now that it's in your main drive, I want you to drag it into Classroom. And then I want you to dry it, drag it into nine, into your nine music class. And then what I want you to do is then to open it. Now I have two because I've tried to actually record this several times and every time it's stuffed up. So, here it is. It should, you have one copy in here. If you double click on it, it then gives you the ability to personalize your website. So, for example, um, you can insert text, box, text boxes and images. You can look at the pages, which I don't want you to change. Um, and you can update your themes if you want. So, for example, so first things first. What I want you to do is to get rid of the word copy of and just type music and then put in your email address username. So my email address is blau at newlands.co.nz. However, yours will be your last name and then the initial of your first name at newlands.score.nz. So I just want you to put that in there for me. Okay. Uh, and then that is your file named, okay? What you then can do is that you can change your image to your page or your heading. So for example, you can pick any of these, these, these default ones, or you can search by the web. And I'm just gonna type in the word guitar. So I feel like putting guitar. Um, I quite like this one. So I'm gonna select and then there is my banner up there. I can adjust for readability if I want. So that's a bit hard to see, and that's um, there. Then what I want you to do is to name your website. And naming your website is, I want you to find a music pun. So I'm gonna click a new tab, I'm gonna type in music pun. And there are all these different puns that you can use. And I want you to copy them, or find one that you like, um, and put it into your header of your website. But I'm not going to do that because you will just copy what I write. So you then have to personalize your website that way. Also, what I want you to do is that, or what you can do is to change the theme. So for example, I might go to Aristotle. I don't quite like the color. I'm going to change it. Or actually, I'm going to go to level. And I'm going to make it red. That's a bit weird for me. I'm going to go a bit blue, still a bit weird. I don't like that color either, but you can personalize whatever you like, okay? So you can um, just change the way that your website looks at this time. Now, 
you are going to be looking at your first assignment um, and what you are going to do is that you will need to personalize your assignment, you'll put your assignment in here. Um, I will teach you how to do that in another video, um, but this is what I, currently what I want you to do. Now, what you also need to understand is that there will be two URLs that you have for this website. Here is the URL for your editing website. This is where you can edit it online. Okay. You then also have a publish URL. So the URL that uh, people see once you have saved everything. So you wouldn't have pressed publish at the moment, but if you can press publish, it will ask you for your music website and your address. So what I want you to do is to go music and then type in B or your username that you've used up here and then click on the word published um, and then it will publish a website. Now I'm going to use to do publish one because I've done numerous copies of this. Right, and then down here you can view your published website or if you click on this drop down box you can view published website. So here is the published website for you. That means that you cannot change any of the writing on it. What I then want you to do is to copy it. So copy this URL and then put it into your Google Drive assignment. So your assignment is to put in the URL into Google Classroom. And I will teach you how to do that in class. All right, if you have any questions, please flick me a line um, and we will go from there. Ma te wa.